Hello everyone, myself Shubhra Dasaha, faculty of Dr. Shudik Chandrasur Institute of Sports Complex in the Department of Automobile Engineering. Now today I am going to discuss about the topic of anti-lock braking system or ABS. Nowadays this kind of braking system is very popular to the uh, vehicle so and we are all know we are all very familiar with this term that is abs or anti lock braking system so what is abs so abs means it the it, it is uh, not locking the brake okay so anti lock braking system is uh, was designed to help the drivers maintain some steering ability and avoid skidding while braking so it is a very means uh, a very comfort or uh, for a driving condition because uh, with the abs system car the dry, uh, driving uh, efficiency or uh, steering steering ability uh, is also too much increased and uh, the avoid of skidding is maybe the uh, not maybe the the avoid of skidding must be uh, reduced in abs system okay so Because you know that uh, in, in difficult uh, situation, the required brake pedal force to be applied on an emergency stop in the shortest possible distance or short, um, distance uh, or stopping distance, uh, shortest uh, shorter stopping distance, uh, and this uh, in the uh, so in that case. The, it is impossible to take into the account of several varying factors such as the tire roughness of the road and tires and the conditions of the road surface. These are also very important parameters during the braking system. Okay. In the extreme case, the driver applies either too much or too little pressure on the pedal and causing the following effect. So what will happen? Number one, the if if uh, if the uh, pedal pressure given by the pressure given by the driver on the pedal is uh, too high in that case one or more of the wheel skids over the surface so that the stopping distance is increased because if you cannot stop your vehicle in appropriate way so your stopping distance is obviously increased so in that way you are taking you are you want to go into the straight line your but your vehicle is skidding toward the left so that the and also thus lack and with also the lack of steering control that means steering is also not working properly or acting properly as per the diver's requirement okay so the stopping distance is also increased for if we place too much pressure on the uh, pedal. And another thing is directional control is uh, very very less. And if rear wheel skid occurs then the vehicle turns toward the rear and this is this may be cause a huge accident 
now coming to the next point that is if we are not giving enough pressure on the pedal though so that case what will happen <coughs> the stopping distance is also increased for that case because your car needs more pressure on the brake pedal to stop the vehicle but you doesn't give such required amount of pressure on the pedal so that's why the car is moving on for a long time and the stopping distance is also generally increased and this can cause an impact with the obstacle and also cause of an accident So ABS was introduced in first mid of 1980s and uh, it is now a very very popular component system in uh, automobiles and uh, first it introduced in Canada 1980s. So what is the main advantages of anti-lock braking system? So this anti-lock braking system as I told you earlier that pedal pressure we can uh, that is if we are giving too much pressure on the pedal that means your in that case your steering ability is will become very less and also uh, the stopping distance is also increased in case of uh, low pressure on the pedal in that case also the stopping distance is also increased so both cases if we are is giving uh, too much pressure or too much uh, too low pressure on the uh, brake pedal in both cases the pressure uh, the uh, stopping distance of the vehicle is increased so uh, this ABS system doesn't require so. So it it promotes the directional stability and allows steering while maximizing braking. Okay. So where is the location of the uh, ABS system or anti-lock braking system? The ABS is a three-channel system. That means that the ABS hydraulic unit has a separate control valve for each front wheel and the third control valve that is shared by both back wheels because of that when one rear wheel starts to lose traction braking has to be reduced to the both rear wheels. The so addition uh, between the road wheels and the road surface depends on the coefficient of frictions on a dry surface the addition varies as the wheel slips changes from 0% to 100% So ABS used wheel speed sensors to determine if one or more wheels are trying to lock up during the braking. If a wheel tries to lock up, a series of hydraulic valves limit to reduce the braking on the wheel. As I told you earlier that internal braking force or internal braking torque does doesn't uh, 
uh, is uh, in internal braking torque is always less for required braking torque because for when the um, torque is equal means required braking torque and uh, and the uh, braking torque so in that case uh, required <coughs> required braking torque always should be uh, less than external or uh, or given uh, sorry given braking torque so what will happen then uh, when uh, both torque is equal in that case uh, the pressure release valve can release the pressure and open the uh, or release the brakes for a very fraction of second and uh, once again it drops to the required braking torque then again uh, the pads or shoes whatever systems are uh, was introduced in that car so that shoes will expand once again and touching the wheel hub so in that case the if that is the basic working principles of the abs so it is mainly depends on the required braking torque and provided braking torque or torque provided during the braking or braking torque so required torque when our internal torque is equals to the required braking torque then what will happen then once again it drops for a certain time and then again engage to the engage for the braking system in this process the rear anti lock braking systems are working and this prevents the skidding and uh, allows you to maintain a steering control and there is two ring that spins at each wheel's next to a magnetic hall effect sensors so lots of sensors are used in that system as the wheel turns the sensors send out a pulse to the abs controller as each tooth passes by it by measuring the frequency of the pulse coming in the controller can determine how fast the wheel is turning the pulses are the same either way and it assumes the wheel is rolling forward by comparing the speeds difference of each wheels and it can detect when some some of uh, more wheels are shown uh, sh uh, slowing down faster than the car and that indicating an impending loss of traction so here you can see the picture of a abs systems from that picture you can uh, see there there are the wheel speed sensors as i told you earlier the abs system uses the wheel speed sensor to determine if one or more wheels are trying to lock up during braking so this is the wheel sensor these wheel sensors are very 
are taking very important role for ABS system or anti-lock breaking system. Now, the ABS the ABS controller then commands the ABS hydraulic units to release the pressure on that wheel brakes and it then reapplies the brake pressure as soon as it senses that the wheel has speed back up the ABS control firmware takes into the account not just the difference in speed between each wheels but also a maximum deceleration rates also so these are the pictures electronic control unit or issues earlier these are the hydraulic moderator this is vacuum booster ok so and these are also hydraulic lines we are used in the ABS systems for the airways so it's used wheel speed sensors and tooth sensor rings so tooth, tooth sensor rings are another types of sensors and one master cylinders is always required for a braking system okay. so these are the main components of the anti-lock braking system road surfaces and ABS road hazard that will cause the ABS to function unexpectedly and sand, ice, snow or muddy or railway tracks and also our some special roads that is full of potholes manholes ok so in that road also and even road also breaking uh, hazard on the road uh, during the rainy time so in, in all these cases the ABS is working very smoothly And uh, the second point uh, is the ABS cannot make up the road conditions for bad judgment. It's still the driver's responsibility to drive the vehicle at responsible speeds for weather and also the traffic coordinator coordinations and always leave a safety message okay so how do you use the ABS system so apply steady and constant pressure don't take your foot off the brake pedal until the vehicle is stopped and don't pump the brake once and once 
means so many times so these are the proper abs break application techniques that i have mentioned in this picture now the disadvantages of abs system the abs has a couple of disadvantages like in deep snow or gravel it's actually better for the wheels to lock up on completely ice locked wheel will often stop a car faster because enough thought the sliding frictions is less than the non sliding frictions and it is applied as 100% okay thank you